Hello and welcome back to The Doctor's Garage. So in this video, I'm gonna start wrapping my Discovery 5, cleaning up a few features on it that I think need doing. So if you're interested in that, want to know how to improve your Discovery 5, or trying to wrap your car for the first time or wrap anything for the first time, you'll wanna watch this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below and let's get started with today's video. So as you can see on my car, I do have the black lettering, a uh, backpack I kind of fitted aftermarket by myself, but this has always bothered me. So this is the main bumper and on a dynamic pack car, this area is actually glossed black with the parking sensors in it. I'm not quite sure about my confidence levels for wrapping that. However, the underneath, so the cover for the towing eye uh, has come off, but also the little exhaust um, sort of squares that are on here. And on the dynamic vehicles, what you'll find is they have the exhaust square and they have like a black insert, which kind of mimics an exhaust. It's a bit weird, but it actually looks quite good from behind um, on these cars. So I've taken those off and what I'm gonna do is actually wrap those gloss black. And I think that'll make a big difference to the way the back of the car looks. Hey guys, so I'm inside now and I'm gonna be doing the wrapping on this little exhaust cover. I think it's, well, it's not even an exhaust cover on most of the cars, but it's that little bit in the bottom left and right of the car. Now, what I've got with me today is I've got my heat gun, which I'm gonna be using to um, kind of uh, make the film more moldable. And then I've got my tools. And I bought a little tool set of Amazon. This is the first time I've ever wrapped anything. So, all brand new to me. This tool set came with everything I think I need really. So it had a squeegee, um, it had these little tools for putting um, bits into like the, the little grooves and stuff just to help kind of work the, work the film. I've got this cutter for the film itself and then also um, a scalpel and some blades. So this is I think all I'm gonna need to do this piece. Now, I did actually cheat a little bit because I wanted to see what this film was like off camera. So actually I did the other one, the other side, last night. I did this in gloss black. And as you can see, it turned out, I think, really, really well. This is the first time I've ever wrapped anything. Um, and yeah, it's not great on the inside. There's some bits that could look better on the edges, but to be honest, you're not gonna see them. So I think that's gonna be fine. For those that wrap a lot, if you've got any tips for how to finish off those edges, particularly when they're that rough, let me know. But overall, really, it wasn't that bad. You know, I kind of put the film on, stretched it, um, tried to limit the amount I was stretching it because I understand that can change the look of the film. But yeah, stretched it around, put some heat on it, and it went on really well. So I'm really excited to see what this looks like when it does go back on the car. Um, one of the things uh, I wanted to do was these bits, and I also wanted to do that rear toe eye cover, I think it is. So let's go ahead, get the film out, and I'll show you what film I'm using, and I'm gonna do the other side right now. So I bought the film online as well. Oh, by the way, for the Amazon stuff that I got, the film set, if you wanted to wrap stuff yourself, I'll put it in the description below where I got that from, because it's quite a good little kit. Now I got about, I think it was like three meters of this black film. This is um, 3M, and the type of film it is, is 2080 wrap film. Now, the reason I remember this film is I've read that it's it's quite good for wrapping vehicles and vehicle parts, but one of the reasons really was because it actually has a protective coat on the outside. This is a small piece I cut out. So it has a protective coat on the outside. So once you have wrapped it and you finished it, you stretched it, you molded it, you can then just peel off this clear layer and uh, and uh, it leaves the gloss finish really, really looking really good without causing any scratches or scuffs to any part of the um, the piece after you've worked it. So um, that's quite cool. And I'll show you that once I've fitted this piece here. So this is a small piece I'm gonna use um, today uh, on this. After this, let's see, I might end up doing the diffuser of the back of the car as well, just to really finish it off in all gloss. I think it looks a lot better if it was, uh, if I was able to do that. So have a look at the piece, measure it up. It looks about perfect on there. That's exactly what we want. So let's get going and see how this one goes. I've cleaned the piece of plastic with um, alcohol. It's ready to go. Got my heat gun, got all my knives and stuff. So let's see how this one goes. You can actually relay this wrap multiple times when you're doing it. So I'm gonna lay this film over here. This is what I did last night at least, and it seemed to work okay. So if you can get it over the main surface that you're working on, so the, the biggest flat surface, um, of the part, so that goes right to the edge, that's perfect, and right to the edge there, so just have a look. Make sure that's, yeah, just perfectly on, as you can probably see. And then just slowly start working it in to the areas, and you can pick it up and just give it a little bit of a, a lay again and again, depending on what you're trying to, uh, which bit you're trying to work in. I'm sure people watching this who wrap cars or wrap things a lot, probably looking at this thinking, what the hell is this guy doing? Do? 
and relaying the wrap on around the edges. So heat it up until, I don't know, until it feels quite warm. I feel like I'm trying to do an instructional here when I have no idea what I'm doing. So please, if you are wrapping your car or anything and you're watching this video by any chance, don't listen to what I'm saying uh, at all because it's probably wrong. But I'm just working my way through this. I thought it'd be good to share my journey of what is working and what isn't working when it comes to wrapping. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Uh, give this video a like. Let me know in the comments what you think about my strange wrapping technique and how that's, um, if how if you do it any differently, what I should be doing differently, or how can I make this a bit easier for myself, please let me know. I'm all for advice uh, in regards to making this a bit easier for myself. So let's have a look. That is, that's coming on. So you can see that now. It looks a lot smoother. There's less folds in it. So we're definitely making progress. So, just finished wrapping the second piece now. Um, done the edges as well as I possibly can. Uh, now what I'm gonna do is take that film off, like I said. So this 3M tape has this plastic film on top, which means it just protects it while you're doing the work on it, which I guess is a good idea. I mean, like I said, I haven't wrapped it up before, so I don't really know, but look, this is um, the film. So you can see after you've done it all, this just comes off. And when you take this off, um, it looks even better, the gloss actually looks even better underneath, so this just peels off the whole surface and you can probably see on the camera, it just looks way shinier and way glossier. And that is the second one done, so now I've got them both sorted. So I've got to do that big rear toe eye cover, diffuser, whatever you want to call it, do that next, see what difference that, um, see how easy that is to do, and then um, yeah, kind of put them back on the car and see what difference it makes. Pulling it with a medium amount of tension. Trying to let it across. Cool, that was good. No, that's not the right. Let's do it again. So we're definitely getting there. I've done the main flat surface, as you can probably see on the bumper here. Just doing this kind of scoop now, and that's quite hard to, to get right because um, Increases a lot basically. So we are getting there, so just keep going, see how this finishes off. So I finished wrapping those parts of my car, got it all sorted, got the edges finished, and I'm so pleased with how it turned out. So I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like now it's on my car, and I'll show you a video of what it looked like before and after so you can see a really good comparison. So this is it, now I've finished. So you can see it's not just the exhaust caps we did, but also um, the middle as well, that cover. And it looks so, so good. It looks basically like paintwork. Um, and it just makes the whole back end of the car look a little better, I think, rather than having that gray piece there. This still irritates me, the bit with the parking sensors in, but to be honest, if I start doing that, I'm gonna also have to do the sides too. Now, as I mentioned, this is the first time I've wrapped anything. Um, it did take quite a while to do, to be honest, but it's a pretty good finish, actually. There's a few tiny imperfections in the wrap. But to be honest, that was mainly because underneath was a little bit scratched and scuffed, so it kind of carried through. But overall, I'm really pleased with what it looks like, how it turned out. I think it definitely just helps make the back of this car just look that much better now. It's got the black lettering, and just it just sort of finishes off, really, for me. It was a part that always annoyed me at the back of this car. While we're here, let me show you a quick tour around the car as well, for those that are new to the channel. There's some of the things I've done to my discovery as well, Side scuttles need doing next, you can probably see. But when we stand at the front, there's some things that I've done. So firstly, this wasn't a dynamic pack, so I fitted these things on here, which are the um, kind of fins, really, the dynamic fins on the front of the car. So they were fitted aftermarket. The car is absolutely filthy. Just ignore that. And that, again, just gives you that little edge at the front in the air vents, same as on that side. They're available um, online. I'll put the link for where I got them from in the description. Also fitted the dynamic grill. This was a Land Rover original grill, but I did change it to a black badge there. Um, and then the black lettering as well. So this wasn't what this car came like. Stuff I've added to it. Really pleased with how it turned out. And now to finish that off, we have the back as well. So what's to be next? What am I gonna wrap next? Because I've had this car for two and a half years. Potentially feel like changing it up a little bit. Let me know what you guys think. What color? Should I wrap my Discovery in if I was to do it? I could do the roof, could do the bonnet, 
could do the whole thing depending on how confident I feel. And if it goes wrong, you know, you can just take the wrap off. So let me know what you guys think. What color would you like to see a Discovery 5 wrapped in? And I might just give it a go. That was my first time wrapping anything. So thanks for watching. Really appreciate your support. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel as well. Check out the rest of my videos on Defenders and my Discovery right here.